Oh, hey guys. Welcome to another episode of Real Creative. Something's changed about me and I just don't know what. Did I get a different haircut? I mean, I just don't know what it is, but something's different. Maybe it's because I trimmed my beard a little differently this time. Just, I don't know what it is. I just feel different. I think I figured it out. Yeah, that's what it is. My name changed. I'm no longer real creative. Well, that sounded bad. I am really creative sometimes, but my name is now back to Grizzly Blair Outdoors. Yep, that's right. It's back to Grizzly Blair Outdoors. If you didn't know, my name's not always been real creative. I've been lying to you for some time. It was Grizzly Blair Outdoors. And I was on Instagram a lot. I actually made shirts and sold them. So I've been lying to you. I've been undercover for mine and your protection. Real Creative was a fine name, but it just didn't roll off the tongue, you know? I just didn't feel that spark when I said it. I made the executive decision to now go back to Grizzly Blair Outdoors. I just like the name better. You know, my last name's Blair, in case you didn't know. My name's Chris Blair. It's nice to meet you. Um, so yeah, it's Grizzly Blair, if you get what I'm doing there. Merry Christmas! If you didn't know it, today is Christmas Eve, and I thought I would spend it with those who truly matter, and that would be my internet family, you guys. Okay, so I've grabbed my gear. I'm actually going to bait this with a little white Senko on a number two hook. Um, it's a little spinning rod here. I'm going to try to fish as slow as I can. And I'm going to be able to achieve that with a Senko with no weight. I'm going to wacky rig it and then just let it sink and just sit on the bottom basically. First cast. I'm just gonna let it sink. Okay, so I'm actually going to switch up my bass lure to something a little smaller, a little dinkier. Something easy that they can eat real quick. You know, they're not going to put out a lot of effort this time of year. They're going to be slow and lethargic and... Yeah, so that's my plan. Okay, so here's the setup. I'm going to put on that little, little guy right there. Do a little fish imitating little tiny weight and that hook. I'm gonna kind of Texas rig it. Try to. And I'm actually gonna put it on I'm gonna take off this rooster tail and I'm gonna put it on this four pound line. Give me something she can dance to. Look at all them miles. Whew. Old girl still going. Okay, so the first spot did not work out. Didn't catch anything, didn't even get a nibble, and then some people showed up and their dogs started walking around me and I just left. But now, I'm at a different spot. That's actually not the lake I'm gonna fish. There's a pond back in the woods that I'm gonna go fish at. Which is why I got orange on, because it is black powder season, which, this is public land. But it's not really big enough. This tract isn't for deer hunting, but people still might. Uh, I'm bringing a 22, along with my fishing pole. 
So if I see a squirrel, I'm gonna shoot a squirrel, and then we're gonna cook it up. But fishing, pretty slow. Hopefully we'll get to this pond and it won't be frozen. I have a pretty good feeling there's gonna be a sheet of ice on it though, so this may turn into a squirrel hunt. Let's see. Well, dang it. Okay, so that may have been a little confusing. I was walking down to go fishing and I saw some squirrels. So I went to sneak up on them and they outsmarted me. Um, I didn't get to shoot. They just went inside their hole in the tree and they were gone. So that was a fail. I actually went down to the pond. There is some clear water. It's not frozen. I'm going to try to fish that. Okay, so I made it down to the pond. And this side over here is ice, as you can see. Maybe you can see. My lure's right there, didn't go through. But, down there, there's no ice. So that's where we're gonna go. What I really should have done, probably, was bring out my canoe, and then I could have just paddled out to the middle and dropped down nice and easy. Like I was ice fishing, but without the ice. Yeah. Now I know. Maybe next time. Oh, yeah. Look at that. But not that it really means anything to you, but here's some winter fishing tips, because, I mean, I didn't really prove myself because I didn't catch anything, but you can't always catch anything, but I can give you some advice that may help you when you go out. So when you're fishing in the winter, the water's really cold, the fish are lethargic and slow and not really very active. So I personally prefer to use lighter line, like a four, five, maybe eight pound line, but I like it to be clear because the water seems to clear up in the winter and I just don't want any of the line action scaring the fish or deterring them from biting. Next, I like to use smaller lures something you can really just let fall slowly, fish very slowly and bounce off the bottom. Maybe a small weight like I did, but generally I don't even use a weight. I'm just impatient sometimes and want it to fall quicker. You want to match what they're eating and basically in the winter they're not eating um, frogs and bugs and stuff like that. Um, they're going to be eating basically fish is what their diet's going to be. Um, so you're going to want to use baits that kind of mimic a fish, preferably. You know, white, something like that, maybe a shad or minnow color or maybe even a bluegill. But yeah, that seems to work the best in the winter for me. I've actually went out with spoons before and caught them in the winter. But I think the best fishing in the winter is going to be vertical jigging, personally. Like ice fishing, basically. The fish are cold, they're deep, they're not really moving. If you can drop that bait right down in front of them, then they're gonna take it. Casting out there from the bank and reeling in, it's hard to get deep where they are sometimes. And yeah, you're gonna drag it right past them. You're moving too quick. Or you're like me, you're impatient. So I think ice fishing is definitely your best bet. If you can get on there on a boat or a kayak or a canoe, then maybe you'll have some luck. But as far as that goes, those are my tips for the day. Um, Maybe I can get back to fishing to actually catch something so I can show you that they work. It's actually pretty thick. Whoop. Whoa. Did you see that baby fish down there? It's like when you tap on the glass at like in an aquarium or something. try to skip this. Think I can do it? Think I can. One skip.
when the fishing is tough, you destroy things. Yeah. <laughs> that was sounded cool. He's something else to throw. Let's see. Ooh, a rock. Okay, that rocks. There's a little rock. That was lame. Hey guys, today just didn't go as planned. I didn't catch anything, and I didn't shoot anything. I just wasn't very grizzly today. I'm gonna say, I did hunt hard and I did fish hard, but I just, I didn't catch anything. But you can't win them all. I think the tips I gave you in this video are accurate. Um, fish just aren't always biting. Um, they are my opinion, my tips are my very own opinion, so if you don't agree with them, then I guess don't try them. But I think those will enhance the possibility of you catching a fish. Um, I didn't give any squirrel hunting tips, but maybe in a later video I didn't get a squirrel either. Did see a lot of squirrels, but I was never ready to shoot or I was honestly fishing most of the time I saw the squirrels. Then once you grab a gun, they disappear. Anyhow, I'm getting ready to wrap this video up. It has been an amazing day spending it with you all. I've had an outstanding time. It has been just, it's been a good day. Out in the woods with all my people and just a good day. So I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, feel free to share. Definitely share because I want as many people to see these as possible then have them share it and then those people can share it and then those ones after that and then those ones and those ones and those ones and then Then a lot of people will have shared it. So that would be awesome Also, if they could subscribe and give me a thumbs up hit that like button if you hit the little bell next to the subscribe thing It'll notify you when I put videos on Hopefully I'm going to start doing that more. That's my plan. Um, as long as the weather ain't too brutal outside, I will be outdoors. I can guarantee it. Um, I plan to do ice fishing, stuff like that. That'll be upcoming probably as long as the weather gets cold enough. I really, really, really love that you watched this video. And I'm glad you came along on this journey. And, yeah. Hunt hard. Fish hard. Stay grizzly. Bye, guys. I'll see you next time.